Hey, I hope you're doing great. My name is Jay and today I want to show you how simple it is to get the location of any user that goes to your website or your web app. And we're going to use JavaScript for that. We're not using a library or we're not using some kind of API. We're just using whatever the browser can give us using JavaScript. Okay, super simple. Let's go here. As you can see, I have just a simple HTML code. I have a button that my goal is when I press this button, I want to get the state. Um, if you're in the United States, I want to get the state um, where you are located. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to do is using JavaScript to get the coordinates. And then after we get the coordinates, then I can use some other free API that can actually give us the state, but that's optional. You don't need the API. Um, that's only because I want to. So to get the coordinates, you do not need anything else, just JavaScript. Okay. Here I am. This is my JavaScript file, totally empty. So let's get started. I'm just going to create a function. Let's call it, um, find my, I don't know, whatever const, uh, find my state or whatever you want doesn't have to be that. So find my state. All right. I'm going to do an arrow function here. All right. So the first thing I want to go back to my HTML and you can see I have like an empty H1 here. This is where I want to display the state or if there's nothing or you don't allow me your location, um, we can show something in this area right here, that H1. So let's go ahead and get that um, element. So let's do const, let, I call it status just because is you're giving me, giving me the state or you're not giving me anything. So document dot create selector it's right here. The class of that element is state. I mean, status, sorry. Um, so now that we have that, what I'm going to do is show you what do we need? And we need this navigator dot geo location. Okay. And I'm going to use a method. So this geo location is kind of that API that comes with your browser and you can use it with JavaScript. And I'm going to use the get current position. All right. And this current position is going to take a success or an error. So if it's successful, so if the person gives us the permission, that user gives us the permission and clicks the allow button, which you're going to see in, in a minute now, um, then we run the success function. If not, we're going to run the error function. That's is that's it. That's simple, easy. So let's go ahead here up here and let's create that success function. So let's do uh, const success is equal to, and we're going to do an error function. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass some data. So right now is going to be kind of the position, the coordinates. So I'm going to console log that position. Just want to make sure that works. Okay. Let's console log that out. So remember, um, when the person clicks, we are going to run um, a function. And then if they click allow, they're going to run the success. So we need to add something to this button. That way this runs when that person clicks. Okay. So let's go down here. Actually down here, this is the find my states function. So after this function, I'm going to do document dot career selector and this button has a class of find state. Okay. And I'm going to do add event listener. This is going to be on click. And what we're going to run when this button is clicked, define my state function. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just copy and put it here. Paste. All right. So I think we are good for now. Let's save and see if this works. So I'm going to click this find my state function is going to run. Okay. So let's go ahead, click. 
Oh, error is not defined. Okay, let's actually do that then. Const error. And what we can do here is just a simple function that returns uh, like a string saying something, you know, um, adding something to that uh, status element, which is the h1. So we can do uh, status just text content and we can do um, enable to retrieve your location or whatever. Doesn't have to be that, but that's fine. Well, let's save it now. Let's see if that works. Let's click. All right, here you go. So now I'm no, I know you're familiar with this little pop up here that says, hey, this website wants to know your location. Maybe you are, I don't know, you're um, uh, looking for somewhere to eat or in a specific location, looking things near you. There's a lot of things that they can do with your location, right? So let's click allow. And here we go. Geolocation, I'm gonna open this. It's a whole um, object here with a course and you can see is giving me some coordinates, latitude and longitude, which you can use to get um, an area, not a specific like house or apartment or something, but is that area, which is very helpful if you wanna find things near the area or no kind of the location of your user. So let's go ahead and use that now with a free API that will give me the state of that person in the United States. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So right now we have this position, right? So I'm gonna create one variable for the latitude like this, and I'm gonna do position. And as you can see here, it says course and then latitude. All right, so course dot latitude. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this because I'm gonna do same thing with the longitude. It's like that, right? And longitude right here. All right, I think I am good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna console log both just to make sure we are good to go. And latitude. That's safe. I'm gonna click again. Uh, cannot rear property of a latitude of undefined. Let's see if we did something wrong here. Oh, uh, I have a typo. Hopefully you notice is chords. So chords with the D of coordinates, of course. Let's save it again. Let's click. All right, here we go. So we have the light. Actually, let's do this. Add some space. Save again. Let's do it again. There we go. Now it's better. Now we have the latitude, some space and then the longitude, so it's working. I'm gonna remove this console log. And now that we have that, I'm gonna use a free API that can give us more information based on that. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the whole URL. Let's create a variable first. Let's call it geo API URL is equal to, and let's just paste it where is it? Oh, right here, sorry. Here we go, all right. So as you can see in the URL, they're giving us a latitude here and I need to kind of replace this and longitude. So let's go ahead and do that. So latitude, replace with latitude and longitude here with longitude. All right, and now what we can do, we can fetch. We can use fetch, get that data from that URL, and hopefully we can get more information about this location. So let's do that, fetch. We're gonna fetch the geo API URL. 
And remember, this is going to be a promise. So we need to use the then. We're going to get a response. The response is going to be in JSON format. So we're going to do JSON. And then we're going to do another then. After that, now we're getting some data. We're getting that data that we need. And let's just console log that data for now. That's all I want to do to make sure that we're getting something. I'm going to save it. Let's click it again. Here we go. All right. So we're getting the first console log, which is this position right here, the position with the coordinates. And then we're getting more data from this API right here. And here we go. Let me just open this a little bit more. You can see the cities are Orlando, North America, the US, latitude, locality. Um, and as you can see somewhere here, it says principal subdivision is Florida. And that's what I want. I want Florida. I don't want the city of Orlando, I just want the state. Um, I mean, you can get whatever you want. Anything here, you can use it, right? So let's go ahead. And what I want to do is in the H1, I want to do, I want to add Florida. So let's go and do status. Kind of the same thing we did with the error. Uh, text content is going to be equal to data dot and the principal subdivision. I'm just going to copy and paste that. And that's about it. So let's, I'm going to save. Let's, let me close this a little bit here. Um, click. And here we go. We have Florida. Find my state. Very easy, very simple. So I'm going to show you what happens if they do not allow the location, which we're going to get an error and it's going to say enable to retrieve your location instead of like Florida. So I'm going to go to my settings and I'm, I'm going to go to like to my Chrome settings, remove the location um, permission, and then I'm going to come back and do it again. Okay. All right, and now here we are again. It took me like 20 seconds um, going to my to the settings of Chrome. Um, make a search, just location. There's a setting for location, and it's going to give you a list of all the websites that you gave permission to share your location. You can just remove it from there. So now I can just click again, and we're going to get this again. So let's say that it doesn't block. He just going to close. There you go enable to retrieve your location or you can put there whatever you want right so let's do it again let's click and let's block so it's going to do the same exact thing okay but now it's blocked so it's not going to ask me again about my location so let me refresh let's click again and as you can see it doesn't ask for location it's just telling you hey i'm sorry it's enable to retrieve location because that page is blocked from um, sharing your location. All right. And I think that's it. Hopefully this is helpful and you learn something new. See ya. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.